everybody, it's Pete from Comanche Surfcasting. Just wanted to do a little follow-up from the last video we shot at Bobby J's. Jay built a couple rods for me uh, off the X-Factor blanks. That's what we got right here. This is a nine-footer. And I just wanted to do a quick review. I picked them up last night. Got to do a little fishing before work today. These rods are amazing. Uh, Jay did a great job building them. Those of you that don't know, the X-Factor blank, all that it is is the exact same blank as the extremely popular Carbon Surf, Black Series, and Blue Water, except in a blank, which means you can build the rod however you want to. Now, Jay built this rod for me for specifics. Uh, I shortened the reel seat to the butt. Uh, I wanted a little bit faster return on the tip, make it a little bit more sensitive, and uh, that's exactly what we got. So, this X-Factor blank is an affordable way to go out and have a custom rod built. Um, and it's also a great summer project for, for you guys that are looking for a new rod for the fall. Uh, I fished this nine footer. It's paired with a BS 150, uh, 20 pound spider wire. And uh, the rod performed flawlessly. I was throwing, let's see what was in the bag. So today I was throwing ounce and a half soft plastics. This is a bigger soft plastic. This weighs about two. Uh, this is a little one. This one's all the way down to a quarter ounce. Um, and this one's probably even a little less than that. So I really enjoyed fishing this rod today. It's light. With the new build, it's really reactive. It's much faster uh, and real sensitive. It's paired with a VS150 20 pound spider wire. Now these are the exact same rods, but they don't look anything the same. So the X-Factor blanks you're able to purchase through Lamaglass or call your local dealer and then you can go out and try your hand at building without having to spend a ton of money. Um, super impressed so far. That's the nine footer. Just real quick. Jay also built me this one off the 11 foot blank. This one's a 10-6. X-Factor. I haven't fished this one yet. I'll be fishing this one this weekend. Uh, this one's paired with a BSX 275. Uh, same thing with this new build. I can tell the tip's a lot faster, a lot more reactive, and it's probably going to cast a lot better. Uh, plus, it's built for the specifications that I like. Um, and one last thing before I go. So this is kind of exciting. Uh, we wait a long time for this. I tested this rod out in particular exclusively last summer. Uh, this is the famous Lamaglass GSB medium, except this one's a two-piece and this one's a 70-30 split. So yeah, that's right, 70-30. Break it down, put it in your car, uh, but with the power of a one-piece and the sensitivity of a one-piece. Uh, this rod is a little lighter than in weight than the regular GSBs. Um, I fished it all last summer, had no problem stopping big fish, and uh, you can see the scales on the handle. It's uh, put some fish on it this year already. Uh, same thing, this rod's 10 foot paired with a VS2, VSX 275, and this one's got 50 pounds spider wire on it. Uh, so I hope everyone's having a great season. That's just a quick review of what's going on with Lamaglass uh, and Van Stoll and uh, Comanche Surfcasting. So uh, the fish are here, they're big. A lot of guys getting their personal best, which is awesome. Uh, good luck to everybody. It's new moon and uh, see you out there.